This is Rick Wallace with Rick's Gardening Guide. Today we're going to talk about knockout roses. I'm standing in front of some knockout roses at our office and these are actually double knockout roses which is a not double knockouts have a prettier bloom in my opinion the more more defined bloom and uh, about two or three times as many blooms as a, as a normal knockout so if you buy knockouts make sure you're getting double knockouts but we're going to talk about pruning these these double knockout roses um, and, and the same goes for regular knockout roses uh, the website uh, the knockout rose website says to prune them down to 18 inches and I feel like that's uh, that's a little severe uh, f for these roses I don't I don't quite feel comfortable doing that on a really established rose I do feel comfortable however pruning them back about 50% these are probably four or five years old and you can see some of the some of the larger stems at the bottom of the plant are, are almost two inches uh, in diameter but I feel good about pruning them down to about 50%. And the ideal time to do this is now, January, February, March. You can't really prune a rose at the wrong time. They can be pruned all year. The more you prune them, the, the, better, the better they're gonna bloom. If you prune them, you know, after they flush, after they're done blooming, prune them back again. They'll, they'll recover from that flush quicker and produce even more blooms. So you can never prune a rose at the wrong time of year. And you really, it's really hard to, to damage a rose by pruning it. Um, most of the time they're just going to respond with uh, more vigorous growth. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.